Annyeonghaseyo Chigus, Kamsamida for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. And today I have a Korean skincare haul for you guys, so I'm really excited to talk about it. But before we get into the Korean skincare haul and the brand I'm going to talk about, I want to talk about um, countries, specifically Korea and South Korea, exporting to China. South Korea, China spends a lot of money in South Korea, whether it has to do with business, uh, real estate, shopping. Uh, China spends a lot of money. Most South Koreans learn English and Chinese because their economy really heavily depends on the Chinese market, just in general. So um, when uh, products, skincare products in general are exported, from Korea to China. Many of you know China, mainland China, because it's said that in Hong Kong, they don't test on skincare in Hong Kong, but in mainland China, many, uh, chi mainland China still tests animals for skincare. So it's like example here. Um, I run a business, Savvy Naturalista, and I have a product that I really believe in. It's called Miracle Glow Oil. So it would be like me getting into Whole Foods. And let's say I really didn't like Whole Foods because their cashier did something to me. And they have a farmer who sells vegan cheese and cow cheese together. And I just don't like that. Well, not together, but you know, they sell vegan cheese and cow cheese on the site and I really don't like that so I never shopped at Whole Foods ever again but one day Whole Foods came to me and said hey Shandera we love your Miracle Glow Oil one of our um finance not finance but like distribution people are a rep for our company was using your oil and they really loved it and we really want to uh, sit down with you, talk about your oil, and see if we could put it in our stores here regionally in the Arizona area. And I'm like, really? You want my product in your stores? Oh my God. And I get all my papers ready. But um, I'm like, do I do that even though I really don't shop at Whole Foods no more because I'm mad at them for all the things they do to vegan this, vegan that. Mind you, this is just an example. I love Whole Foods, but let's just say that was the case. I'm not generally going to not shop at Whole Foods just because, uh, no, I'm not going to have my product. I'm not going to have my product in Whole Foods just because they do that. I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to get my product in the Whole Foods. I'm going to set aside my, um, past tip with them just to get my product in there or even Costco because it said that Costco is one of the biggest uh, natural grocers nowadays and if you have a beef with Costco you're not going to say hey I'm not going to have my vegan or natural cookies in Costco because of what they do to their employers you're not going to say that you're going to want your cookie in there because millions of people are going to see it so that's sort of how skincare works in China for Korea they're not going to not export their products, no matter if they're cruelty free, to because uh, China tests on animals. And I just want to give you guys these examples because I feel like, you know, with the whole China uh, brands not uh, brands exporting their products to China, some of us tend to think that that's bad and we won't shop with those uh, brands. But um, a lot of times, those brands really don't have anything to do once their product is exported. And you may be limiting your uh, brands that you try because, you know, you're uh, against it. So let me give you guys another example so I can get it clear because I just want to uh, give you guys examples so you don't limit your trying of products. So let's say like one of the biggest Chinese department stores, like China department stores in mainland China came to me and they were like, hey Shandera, we want to put your Miracle Glow oil in our department stores. One of our reps really loves your oil and we would love for all the Chinese women to try your product. And so we're going to put it in our stores. And I'm like, really? Oh, I'm global, y'all. I made it to the big leagues. <laughs> so I'm really excited. I'm just on cloud nine. 
and they say, okay, so we're gonna cut you a check. So I have all my lawyers, everything. We sign it, we look at the contingencies. Once, once all the contingencies are done in my papers, all my lawyers that I don't have now, but I'm just saying this is an example, you guys. Once everyone looks over the papers, once uh, they cut me a check, the Chinese, China department store, I really don't know the biggest ones in China, but once they cut me a check and I send my stuff, I export it to China, I have no control over what they do with my product because they already cut me a check. So they can do whatever they want. The rep can take a bottle of my oil, throw it on the floor, break it, slam it, and I really can't do anything. They already cut me a check. Technically, it's their product. So I really just can't do nothing. I may be sad that, okay, mainland China, it's, uh, mainland china tests on animals but you really don't know if they are or not going to test your product on an animal once it's exported the rep may take it to a laboratory but it's their product it's not my product i may be vegan and cruelty free here which i am but once my product gets to china they can do whatever they want with it because it's their product and they already cut me a check. Just to make this more understandable for you guys, it's like if you have a cookie or a cake shop and I come into your cake shop and I say, hey, I like that cake because you're really popular and you're big everywhere and everyone knows and so I come in yours. It's like sprinkles on the West Coast and cake box on the East Coast. These are just popular cake shops. I don't know anymore so don't get mad at me, I'm just saying. So it would be like that. And one day I come into your little cupcake store or your little cake shop and I say, hey, can I have a piece of your cake? And you go, sure, you may. And I buy your cake and then I walk out of your store, walk down the block and you walk out of your store because you feel like you're having a good day and you just want to sunshine. And you see me a block away and I bite into your cake. I'm like, this cake is gross. This cake is nasty. And I throw it on the floor and I step on it. Uh, you would be mad. You would, but what can you do? You really can't do anything because I just bought the cake. So it's technically my cake now. So I can do whatever I want with it. Uh, I could take the label off of it and sell it at a farmer's market for a higher price and put my name on it or I could go to a birthday party and say I made that cake even though you did. You may be mad, but I already bought the cake. So those are just a few examples of how exportation works for the Korean market and when it's exported to China. So I really hope that helped you guys who are cruelty free and a cruelty free and natural community. But this company, I just wanted to say all of that <laughs> just to tell you guys that the company we're going to be talking about today is called Misha and they do export to China. So it's Misha and the car says, love your skin, love your soul. They do export to China, but they're against animal testing in Korea. So all the products from South Korea that they make and ship to the U.S are cruelty free, they're vegan and not tested on animals. I just wanted to tell you guys that just in case you guys are limiting your buying and you really wanna try Korean products, this is a great company, I'm really excited to try them. So, let's get into the skincare haul today. So this product I got was a Super Aqua Pore Correcting Cleansing Foam. Most of these are skincare products, well they all are. And you guys know I have an obsession with pores. And what I like about Korean skincare uh, items just in general is they really cater more to pores than America and the US, uh, US uh, items do. They really talk about cleaning and cleansing your pores. So a lot of the stuff I got are pore cleansers. And whereas in the American or US uh, market for skincare, they deal with acne and they deal with pores. So I really love this. This foam, I am really excited to try. It's, a, it's just a soft cleansing foam. I'm trying to stay away from scrubs because winter is coming and I don't want to get any 
more dry skin. So the next products I got is a natural color clay mask. You guys see, look at these clay masks. These are so cute. Uh, this one's a pink clay, of course. They had a yellow clay that I really wanted to get, but I didn't get. I wanted to get yellow. They had a yellow one, a green one, and a purple one, and the pink one. And I just got these two colors. One, because this one's moisturizing, so there's really nothing to dry your skin out. I can't wait to show you guys that. And look at this. I want to show you guys. The label is in Korean. You guys can see. And then right here, they have the English label. What they do is just take another label here in the U.S. And they put against animal testing can you guys see that so i really love that they make sure they let you guys know misha is a cruelty free company you can find them online i'm gonna leave all the links down below i was really excited to buy from them so this is their pore care the green mass is pore care uh you guys know i'm obsessed with pore so i got another pore care one uh, they sent this as a, a free bonus for so much money i spent and this is like uh, salt body scrub body gel I guess it firms and tones the body and it has little patches so <laughs> I'm gonna try it although you know I really don't I am not into the whole you know cellulite patch reduce body weight but we'll see if it works you guys so that's one I also got a makeup remover because I heard a lot of good things about uh, Korean skincare makeup removers in general. So this is by the company. Oh, well, it's by Misha, of course, you guys. And look at this makeup remover. Like the blue is at the bottom, like that's some sort of oil, and this is the white part. So look at, isn't that cool? I'm excited to try it. And then you mix it all together and look at it. Isn't that really unique? I'm really so excited to try all this stuff. So I got a few masks as well. I really didn't get too much, you guys. I got these masks as well. I got um, uh, the pomegranate sheet mask and it controls skin aging because you guys know I'm all about pore care and uh, reversing the age. Like if I could look 18, no, I would say like 25 at like 45, I would say that is me you guys that is me 25 and 45 so this one is uh their pomegranate one and this one is their raspberry one and this one is the firming one this firms and newish and this is age defined so i'm really excited to try these little ones oh and then here we go again against animal testing so all their products let you know they're against animal testing and I don't want you guys just to limit your buying because they're exported. Remember, as I said in that long intro, that um, they they can't pretty much, uh, they can't, I don't know how to explain it, but U.S. is not Korea, South Korea's biggest market. So, yeah. <laughs> and the last product, but not least, oh, let me show you guys these little BB creams that they sent me as samples. Uh, it's number 23. I don't know what skin tone it is. I hope it's of a light skin tone. But these BB creams that they sent me, I'm excited to try. These look really good. It's uh, the SPF 42 and number 23. Uh, I'm really excited. It says, which lighten skin tone by healing visible wrinkles and blemishes with excellent skin cover. So I may try these next time I put on a little makeup. Now, wait, do I have anything else before I show you my last favorite product, you guys? I got this box, though. <laughs> this is what it came in. Look at it. <laughs> but last but not least, is the most favorite product many of you know if you don't know I am a sucker for cute packaging I love 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 cute packaging I just do so I got this product and the box is like totally in Korean this is their Cho it's called Cho uh, Misa Cho Gon Shin Cho Gon Shin you guys see cleansing foam and it's an oriental art cleansing foam to help provide moisture and freshen up the skin with rich dense 
foam. Ooh. So, but this is the cutest bottle I've seen, you guys. This is so cute. I can't wait to show you guys. Look at how lovely this is. Like, I don't want to use it. It is so beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how lovely this is. Just look at you guys. This is just amazing. I really love, I'm a sucker for this packaging. Ah, uh, and it's a cleansing foam. So I got like a few cleansing foam remover because I heard good things about Korean skincare makeup remover. And that's all I have for you in this skincare haul today. I'm going to leave links down below where you can find out about cruelty free uh, Korean skincare products because you guys have to remember the Korean government, South Korea specifically, is against uh, testing our animals. I really don't know how North Korea works because you know we're shut from them. We're shut. So in South Korea, their government in general is against skincare items, but because a lot of South Korean companies do export to China, we really don't know what's happening. So, with that being said, I hope you do try. Where's the card? I just have the card. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. So, I hope you do try Misha. 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 I hope you do try Misha. Come, Samida. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Annyeong.